Oh, hi. You all right? Hello. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you, Sarah? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Probably shouting at it. <laughs> good. That's me, loud. You know me. How's your day been? Manic, because I'm homeschooling at the minute. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. So I'm trying to fit maths in in between drawn mushrooms. It's like, it's not really working at the minute. It's like, obviously, Mushroom Marvelous is, yes. your, is your alias, if you like, is, is, your, is your brand. Um, is. You just need to tell more about why the mushrooms, because I know, I know people will want to know why mushrooms. So... I'll tell you a little bit about my backstory, right? So Mushroom Marvelous was kind of invented, shall we say, in, well, last year. Now, I knew I wanted to do something really unique and bespoke, right? So what happened was, unfortunately, last year, I lost my nana. Um, and I stood and I'd done a eulogy in the church with my cousin. And I was just looking down and I saw kind of, you know, the flowers that they have in the church. And I just thought, what do they do with them? And I, when I was asking, I was like so shocked to find that they just get left. 99% of the time, they just get wow. left. And I was like, oh my God. So I took the wreath home and I made like 20 or 30 pieces of art for the family. Mm -hmm. So that's where the whole idea of, so Mushroom Marvelous is like a, it's all about memories. I love to work with people's photographs. I love to listen to the stories behind the photographs. If you remember last year, weird, like, outburst of mushrooms in the northeast, right? And I kid you not, weird things were happening. Mushrooms. So there was a, there was in the papers and everything, man, how there was, I think it was a really wet period of the year. And um, I was, like, going for a walk taken in the scenes and then I thought there's something about these mushrooms so I started researching it and in folklore old English folklore spotting mushrooms is a symbol of positivity new beginnings hope and I didn't know this and I thought it's a, it's a sign this so I decided in every little piece of artwork everything I make I'm going to put a little illustrated mushroom and that's where Mushroom Marvellous came from. I, like I know that you put the mushrooms in all of your art and, uh, but you also like personalize them with like positive notes as well don't you oh yeah yeah so everything that i make comes with a personalized note so whether it be a gift for somebody i'll always put like a little tag in i mean people are here just by chance i have one hanging to see <laughs> hello andy cute there you go um so at the minute they're really really popular because i can send them direct to people and I know that you've been doing a lot of work during lockdown. Um, what what has lockdown looked like for you? Through crying out for things like keepsakes, things like yeah. gifts. People are sat online all the time and having something positive with Mushroom Marvelous puts a little bit of an additional twist on it, doesn't it? Yeah. So, on top of the idea of like getting commissions done and the bespoke like canvases and dream catchers that you're doing um i wanted to ask so you, when you say remembrance obviously the business that i'm in is weddings how does it fit into weddings so i have a wedding portfolio um i do two kind of specialisms obviously i do really unique wedding deck wedding table decorations now i wasn't always going to go down that route but it just naturally progressed and people when they saw my artwork you have to see my artwork in the flesh to be to appreciate it people say photographs don't do it any justice but i try my best <laughs> I do a range of favors for people so anything and like i said like you've asked for a commission sarah if people ask for something I'll go away and I'll, do, I'll think about it and I'll do it. So I have had people request for centrepieces, table centrepieces with dried and preserved flowers, um, but favours, place cards, that kind of element for a wedding. So I also do a por portfolio which helps the couples after the wedding. Okay. So if they want to remember the day, what I'll do is I'll arrange to collect the bouquet and I can do a range of different artworks out of the bouquet. So I'll press the bouquet, I'll 
press part of the bouquet, I'll preserve some of the roses if needs be, and I'll combine it with the wedding photographs on a handmade bespoke canvases. Like I remember singing, like, cause Curly and I met when I was looking for people to get involved in a styled wedding shoot. And um, I remember singing that stuff and being like, oh my God, like just need to have that in the shoot because it was so unusual and something that I'd never seen before. And what, what are those, um, do you remember the shot that we did where you're like holding a- A bauble. Bauble, yeah. yeah. Like it makes us think of like Snow White eating the apple. Um, but like, tell us about them. Well, I'll just tell people first of all that you did tell us to get on the table. And I did tell you to get on the table. <laughs> and eat me bauble. I won't say the photographs as evidence. Um, <laughs> fantastic photographs, by the way. But um, a big model. <laughs> you know, out with my model was sick, dressed up as a bride. <laughs> um, so, yes, I'll do personalised keepsakes in like a bauble form. So you can do like a package with this you can I do framed artwork I do canvas artwork which is really popular but then I also do clear um, acrylic baubles so I'll take maybe a couple of the, the blooms from your bouquet and I'll preserve them um, not in the same way that kind of big corporate companies will do I'll do them at home um, and I'll dry them so they come out quite vintage and rustic loving um, and I'll put them in a bauble with elements of your wedding colour, um, dates, your name, and you can keep them as a keepsake all year round, but they look amazing on the Christmas tree as well. But they're just lovely gifts as well. So on pine wooden discs, I'll hand print the wedding photograph on and I'll combine it with flowers from the bouquet. Nice. Nice. And I, just, like, I don't think I've ever asked you this before. What, um... How much time have you got between, so you've got the bouquet on the day, on the wedding day, how much time have you got to collect that bouquet before it's like potentially too late for the well, I've tried and tested this, I have, I've tried and tested it and because of the, the nature of the process that I do and the results that I get, so I haven't got any kicking about there yet, but <laughs> because they come out very like old looking and vintage looking it, the, the beautiful they don't have to be preserved in the way that these big companies do it which charge an absolute fortune by the way um the the naturally hung the naturally dried and then the 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 sealed so it takes from so i normally arrange to pick it up either the day after from wherever and you know people get a friend to take their bouquet mm to a different address and I can do that. I can even get it on the night, right? I've picked it up from wedding, wedding venues on the night. And it takes about six weeks, okay. six to eight weeks, which is half of what other companies will say. And then in total, you're talking about eight weeks before you get the final, final piece. And what about, so say, say something happened where you couldn't get the bouquet the day of or the day after. Like, is there a... If, that, if, you know, they may forget, there may have been a lot of things yeah. going on. How long have they got before it's too late for those flowers? A week. I always say a week. Right. Okay. When you talk about, like, the the vintage, like, the vintage feel and the vintage look and colours to the flowers, like, how yes. much of that colour do they retain? Totally depends what kind of flower it is. Oh, okay. Totally. So, like, a really, a really popular one that people put together or asked to be put together is obviously a rose. Yeah. Okay. So roses, and again, it depends what colour it is, and it depends how long after the event. The fresher they are, the more colour they'll retain. Mm -hmm. So if, like, if someone's getting a canvas or a yeah. framed print... Yeah. they last forever. They last forever. Yes, they're all sealed with my little sealer, which is, I'm having a nightmare. So this is my sealer, right? Acrylic Brooks Professional Sealer that I use. And I paint it over the top and then they get varnished as well to right. stop any colour fading, all right? So is, because I know you do the mugs, which I, I love. What the mug. <laughs> <laughs> There's a mushroom. They're so cool. So you do another mushroom. Yes, they normally have about three or four mushrooms. Oh, here. okay. 
um, all hand painted, all completely individual. It's another arm of my business. I don't necessarily promote them as much because I don't want to confuse people with what yeah. my actual portfolio is. But um, I'm the popular them. I've just brought out rainbow ones. Just seeing. I've oh, seen for the NHS. <laughs> and do, do you have? I know you were saying like a lot of couples tend to go for maybe like. A frame because you, you can get a lot of artwork out of one bouquet so maybe they'll get like a frame a canvas yep. or like a bauble or one of the wooden discs have you got like a package or is everything like per item oh there's packages as well so they start from 89 quid and they go upwards depending right. on what you want and for in terms of like when we're talking like 89 pounds is that like a canvas is that a yeah frame? Right. yeah well, eighty-nine pound would be like the smallest, the smallest canvas. I can't show you the front because it's in order. Because I know I've, I know that companies will do like they'll do your, they'll they'll press your whole, oh, they'll do the whole bouquet, yeah. yeah. But then what do you do with it after? Do you know what I mean? Like they're not, they're not making art out of it. Mm -hmm. Well, they just so just give you a bag of dried petals, do they? <laughs> I mean, my friend who got married, she had a whole bouquet. And was it a whole bouquet? Or they made it a mini bouquet in like a box frame? And you're talking 800 quid. What? Oh, um, see, see. <laughs> I just play my mushroom flute and that's it. <laughs> Can you play a tune on it, Anna? It just looks wrong. No. <laughs> and that's, um, but like, if you could go backwards and kind of say, give yourself a bit of advice, what would it be? It's hard, right? Because I'm such a driven nutcase and I, I'm used to spinning so many different discs at once. So... I always get feedback about how much work I get through. People are like, how the hell are you doing all of this? Because I also I run a networking event as well, a networking, um, on, online networking group on Facebook. I'm kind of one of those people, well, I blatantly am one of those people, not kind of. If I get something in my head, I need to do it now. I need to do it now. So... I've bought things that I should never have really bought, um, like website. I probably didn't need one at the time. It's there. It's sat in the background. I'll use it whenever, but it's a lot of money. Um, laptops. I've just jumped in and bought one that I probably didn't need. So my advice to me would be listen to your own advice by setting yourself some goals yeah. and making sure it's achievable and you're not jumping straight in. Um, so we've talked a little bit about lo lockdown and I know that you have an Etsy shop as well, yeah. which is pretty awesome. Just double check in if like, if people order something off Etsy, do they then like send you a photo and then you go from there? Um, and as a two part question for someone like me who wants something that like is totally commissioned, mm -hmm. is it a case of like dropping you a line or dropping you an email or message and going from there rather than going through it? like Etsy, which is what's best. Yeah, yeah. so all my social media is very clear. My Etsy shop's very clear how, what the process is, because it's really important for people to understand how to do it. So if somebody messages us on Instagram, for instance, from a, a post, it always says on there, you can order this on my Etsy shop if you can, or you can contact us. Now, what tends to happen when people contact us, we just get into a little bit of a conversation because I like to understand the memories that they're talking about when it comes to like the canvases, for instance. So we just have a conversation. They send the photographs through messenger, email, but I'll, I'll guide people along that, yeah. that process. It's really easy to do. With Etsy, I'm very careful about the type of products I put on there. Because, again, people don't want to wait six weeks for something. Right? It just doesn't make sense to go on and ask for a bouquet of preservation. So the type of stuff that's on there, which is linked to weddings at the minute, is, for instance, things like delayed weddings. So okay. at the minute, 
I'm getting a lot of orders or requests through for people who've had to postpone their wedding or delay it to next year okay. or later in the year. So, for instance, I've just had a canvas um, request came through where the couple were going to go abroad. She wanted to originally the guest who was buying it for her because they make really nice pieces for the guest. So what I'll do is I'll take a, a picture of the couple, you know, just a nice picture. Um, I get some memorabilia from them, like they were going to be, I think it was Antigua they were going to get married in, and okay. I was going to have elements of the map in there, the date on there. It got postponed, so I quickly had to have a conversation with them about what what they wanted on the canvas. Now, you can do all of this through Etsy, right? Oh, so okay. There's a messaging service, but I always, on my shop and on my list, and I always detail, you can send us a message, and what happens as soon as you order, I get a, you get an automatic message through, which says, email is the picture, or you can attach the photograph. Um, but people can ask us anything. So um, have you created sort of items that are available through your Etsy shop, that if it, I don't know, someone like myself, who, like I've got a friend who's had to postpone her wedding. She might even have to postpone it again. We don't know yet. Um, if I wanted to gift her something, I don't really have, like I don't have any flowers or anything like that. What what sort of things would you have that I could gift a, a friend whose wedding's been postponed? Yeah, so really popular at the minute is my little wooden wonders, I call them, okay. little wooden wonders. Um, I've just sent one out actually, and it says love forever on it. And it has got a photograph of the couple, right? Because the fact that delay the wedding, um, but I've always got a constant flow of pressed flowers in all kinds of colors, all right. the time. So I can either theme it to the, like to what color the wedding's gonna be, or I mean, to be honest, a lot of people don't even ask for a color theme. But um, I get creative or inspired by the picture or the colours that's on the picture as well. And they get knocked up in a week, week to two weeks. And they're just really lovely gifts because I put the personalised note in as well to say, sorry, your wedding's been delayed. They're affordable, they're 20 quid. And nice. get set off. So where can we find you? You can get us on all the things, all the social things. So Facebook, Mushroom, Marvellous. Um, Instagram, Mushroom Marvellous. And obviously my Etsy shop is Mushroom Marvellous. Come and watch us, right? Come and have a look at my Facebook page. I don't just post products left, right and centre. I go live and I talk all the time. I give value. All the time. <laughs> all the time. Um, but come and say hello.